Hi guys, um, I've just purchased this Mac Pro travel case and it's designed to go on top of my Zuka wheelie. I just wanted to share with you a little bit of my sort of kit organization, um, but also to just show you um, how much I'm loving this case because uh, my previous um, wheelie case was actually getting quite heavy. So I've now reverted back to my Zuka and this is designed to fit on top of a Zuka wheelie really nicely. So I'm just going to show you it's got a, a nice um, strong travel strap and the handles are reinforced as well. There's a front zip for sort of my personal stuff like my purse and travel card and things like that when I'm on the go. But the most important part obviously is the inside where I've got all my um, products and everything nicely organized so as you can see this case fits a lot of product in it's actually not that big but surprisingly it's like a TARDIS it fits a ton of stuff in the um, first pocket I've got here has all of my um, skincare so in here I've got everything from like my Bioderma, my Embrelease, my setting sprays, primers you know all the sort of things that I could need for face and body and then in the middle pouch I've got all of my airbrush foundations so I've got my temp to um, from the lightest to the darkest of shades I've got my ket I've got my air base I've got my adjusters in there I've got my cleaner in there so it fits all of my um, foundations that I could need are in here now as you can see it's quite it's too deep so um, foundation wise so it does fit a lot of products these pouches are um, velcro so you can actually remove them and put them into a separate set bag as well so again really good if you're kind of swapping up bags for example if you're working on less people or you just want to carry something even smaller if you're a newbie makeup artist actually I think you could actually get away with just using this bag um, if you don't have too much in the way of um, kit to begin with this pouch here, I've got all of my um, Temp2 blushes in there, my highlighters and bronzers are in there, my Moist and Dewy is in there from Donair, my Makeup Blend, um, and I've also got my Daniel Sandler watercolour blushes are in here as well. And I've actually tried them recently through my airbrush gun and they work really beautifully through the gun as well as obviously uh, manual application. The next pouch has all of my lip glosses in and I would say it fits probably about four deep and probably about eight to ten glosses across. So it fits, um, again, quite a lot of lip glosses in there. Then I've got this middle section. It's like a, a flap that kind of, obviously you can just um, pop all your bits in that you want to keep flat. In here I've got my mirror, I've got my... Um, body tattoos I've got in there that I used for a shoot earlier and you don't want them in pouches where they can get bent so the, this flap is really good for that I've got my Meron Pro Celebre HD palette um, again covers from the lightest to the darkest of uh, skins so I use this for concealing, for contouring as, con as foundation um, and it just looks a dream on the skin I've got my um, Airbase Face Shield my mixing palette in here and this is a removable um, flap so as you can see it's got the zip there and this um, has holes in it you can put the carry strap onto there and actually hang that up at a workstation if you wanted to but I don't know how that would work for me but that's how they showed me in the Mac Pro store the other side of the flap has these two large pockets in. At the moment I've got three airbrush guns in there so you could easily fit, fit a fourth. And then I've got this um, pouch which I've left free for my um, iPad. And then I've got these mesh sort of compartments on the other side of the bag. And on this side I have my um, brush cleaner, my Brian. And I've got my Beauty So Clean cosmetic sanitizer in there. And then other than that, I've got all of my lip products. So in this pouch, I've got all of my like loose lipstick colors and also my sort of chubby sort of 
pencils from NARS and Revlon and stuff. Really quick um, pencils to use if you want something on set. Right, all of my lip pencils are here and also some lip glosses. And then I've got five lip palettes in here. So I've got um, three Makeup Forever ones. I've got a nude one. I've got a Brights one and I've got my Red and Plums are in here as well. They're all my decanted lipsticks, everything from like MAC, Tom Ford, Shantikai, Bobby, Laura are all in there. Then I've got my Bobby Pro Lip Palette and I've got my View Set, which is like my sort of set bag one. And this has like nudes, brights and a few reds and plums in there. So I've got everything I might need um, in there on the go. I'll pop this all back and zip up and then in the next section I've got take these puffs and sponges out um, I've got all of my powders in here so I've got my Ket, I've got my Laura Mercier, my Ben Nye, my Besame, my RCMA I've got my Mineralize and my block powders are all in here as well um, so all of the sort of complexion stuff is in here to hand. And then in this um, final section, I've got my compressor. And also I've got this little light, which I actually attach this to my Zuka. Um, I picked this up. I can't remember where I picked this up, actually, a supermarket or something. But anyway, it, it's quite handy. I know I could go for Glamcore and I could go for the makeup light, but like I said, um, I'm all about trying to condense my kit and not carry too many products because um, my back isn't great at the minute, so less is more when it comes to carrying gear. So this I can attach to my Zuka, and if I click once, you can see there's one light, and if I click again, both lights come on, so I can attach this... Um, and get l extra light when I need it so when I'm on location um, especially when I'm doing weddings at like um, heritage buildings which can be quite dark wood and barely any light and small windows my cable, my plug, my compressor it's my airbase compressor and I've actually stuck two hooks onto the side of it where I can actually sit my um, airbrush guns on there as well so as you can see, it's really tidy, really neat, um, really accessible. So everything is to hand and I am totally loving it. Uh, next video I'll post will be my Zuka wheelie and what I have in there. Okay, bye.